So, it's been a hot minute since I last recorded. It has been six months, um, but whatever. That doesn't matter now, because today has been home to some very significant news. Um, Canada's Wonderland has now officially stated their reopening policy as part of Phase 2 of the Ontario Reopening Plan. And today I am going to be going over what they posted on their blog, talking about the reopening protocols, and then at the end I'm going to give some of my thoughts and opinions on it. So let's get started here. So right at the top of the blog, it talks about the six main things that they want to happen at the park. So like a lot of parks and like La Ronde uh, last year and this year, reservations are required. You must reserve a slot in advance. Um, July 5th and 6th is a pass holder preview day, and then July 7th is the official opening day for the general public. Um, at least one member of the group, or if you're by yourself, you should have the, um, the park's mobile app, which you can get both on the Google Play Store and on the iOS App Store. Um, face coverings, like masks, are still required for any guests uh, two years and older in areas unless they're otherwise designated. Like, I know uh, Laurent had some um, mask-free zones, and, like, uh, when you're eating, you don't need to, but for the most part, when you're walking around the park and on the rides, face coverings are still required. Um, health screenings and temperature checks will also be required. Uh, most likely just be just at the front gate before you go into secur security. Um, a lot of these are very similar to La Ronde, and I'm using that as an example because that was the park in Canada that was open last year, so it's a little bit, that gives us a little bit of a judge of what all of this will be like, and I did go last year to La Ronde, so I do have some experience with all of this. Um, hand sanitation stations will be added throughout the entire park, and, um, if you, especially with the mobile app, if you turn on location services in it, that will help you even more. So, once again, uh, reservations are required and they will be available starting on June 17th at 9 a.m., so three days from now. And when you bring, or when you go to the park, you should bring your pass or your tickets, um, contactless pay payment methods, Apple Pay, Google Pay, uh, credit and debit cards, stuff like that. So you will need proof of your uh, parking payment and that and proof of your reservation when you get to the parking booth. And then um, it states that for Splashworks, unless you're visiting a restroom or in a line for uh, foods, then you may remove your face coverings in Splashworks, but in the dry park you must have it on. Um, at all times except for the uh, designated mask off zones. Um, there will be a temperature check. If you have a temperature higher than 38 degrees Celsius, you'll be told to go home and reschedule your visit. If you do have higher than 38, you should probably get a test as well, just in case. Uh, the bag security policy will still be the same. When you're in the park, uh, you should try to maintain two, two meters of distance if possible. Uh, smoking will not be permitted inside of the park anymore, uh, at least for while well, this is going on. So some rides and attractions will not be opening because uh, distance probably distance isn't great. Like some rides you won't be able to get good distance on. Um, reservation is also needed for Splashworks as, as well as the dry park. So you'll need a separate reservation if you do plan on going to the water park. And except for water rides, all rides will require you to have face coverings on them as well. Um, the Canterbury Theatre, which is their uh, indoor theatre, th that will be closed for the time, as well as some of the indoor merchandise locations uh, will have also been closed. Uh, for dining, some, some of the tables have been removed. Indoor dining is not permitted, which means also, obviously, that the buffet will not be open. Everything, all of the stuff that they have is going to be dispos uh, disposable. There's going to be barriers between uh, guests and workers, the like the plexiglass screens, basically. And uh, you should try to use contactless payments, uh, not cash, stuff like uh, credit, debit cards, Apple Pay, that stuff. And um, yeah, so that's basically 
for the most part, um, what is going on with the new, uh, the new protocols. And it is very nice that Canada's Wonderland reopening is reopening. And so now I'm going to go into my opinion on what I think this is going to do. The biggest thing that a lot of people I've seen just from looking at the comments of the posts that they made on Instagram for this is obviously masks. I don't find them that big of a hassle. I think just make sure that you drink a lot of water. If you need a break to go sit down, just get a nice bench in the shade, take five minutes off, and make sure that you're drinking a lot of water. That's the main thing, I think, for the summer. Um, yeah, I am very excited. I, chances are, I will be returning for, at, if not July 5th, then at least July 6th, or sometime within the first week of opening, I will be going there. Expect a couple uh, Canada's Wonderland videos in the future. Um, also, a bit of a... Uh, shameless plug right now, but I'm also going to start making more content on my Instagram page at atomic underscore coasters So if you want to go visit that then that would be great um, Other than that, my name is atomic and I will be signing out. Have a great rest of your day